What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. Should Julio Urias win the NL Cy Young? Is he getting a little disrespected? We're going to talk about that in just a second. But quick reminder for all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, interviews, breakdowns, and more all season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content and you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, I'm with your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Do you think that Julio Urias should win the NL Cy Young? Let me know down below. Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. Also, do you think he's a little underrated and a little disrespected around the league? I want your thoughts on that. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So the big question today is, should Julio Urias win the NL Cy Young Award? Will the Urias be Cy Urias? Will he win the Dodgers' 13th Cy Young in franchise history? Well, he's definitely put together a strong case, especially when you look at his second half numbers. In the second half of the season, Julio Urias leads all of Major League Baseball with a 126 ERA, and he finished his 2022 season with a microscopic 216 earned run average, making him the first Mexican-born pitcher to lead the league in ERA. So congratulations for that. Now, who's Julio's competition? Well, it's the big fish down in Miami, Sandy Alcantara. And he's had a phenomenal season. If you look at his numbers, what really stands out is those innings pitched. 228 and two-thirds innings pitched. That is tops in all of Major League Baseball. And only 200 pitchers through 200 or more innings this season. He has a two 28 ERA, a .98 whip, and also he leads the league with a 8.1 war. So his war numbers are so significant. The innings is six complete games this season. So he's been fantastic. Make no mistake about it. And there's a really good chance that he's going to take home the Cy Young Award. But if you want to make the case for Julio Urias, I think you look at a couple things. I think, one, you look at how he's finished this season. In their last 13 starts, second half of the season, Julio Urias leads all of Major League Baseball with a 1-2-6 ERA. Sandy Alcantara's last 13 games, a 3-0-1 ERA. Yes, he has some complete games in there. Yes, he has some gems sprinkled in there. But the other thing I think you consider, too, is the fact that Julio Urias has been the best pitcher on the best team in Major League Baseball, on a historic team, a team that won 111 games, a team that won the most games in the National League since 1906. They also led the league in starting pitcher ERA at 275. So the bottom line is Julio Urias was the best pitcher on the best team on the best pitching staff in Major League Baseball. And in my opinion, I think that Julio Urias is a little overlooked. He's a little overshadowed in LA with all these stars. You've got the Moogie Betzes, the Freddie Freemans, Clayton Kershaw. But let's not forget, Julio was on the mound to close things out for the 2020 World Series champion. Championship. And when it comes to individual awards, he still has been an all-star team. He hasn't won a Cy Young Award. Last year, he was way further down the ballot than I think he should have been. So I definitely think at this point that he is underrated Urias. There is a little disrespect out there, and I think that he deserves his due. And my theory, too, is he's not the biggest guy. He's not the flashiest guy. He's not a high velo guy that's going to just blow it past guys. He does it his way. You see that slurve. You see him changing eye levels, elevating that fastball, keeping hitters off balance, inducing soft contact. So I think his style also plays into it as well. But I absolutely think that Julio Arias is underrated at this point. But I have some more thoughts on this in just a second. But first, I did an interview with MLB Network's Alana Rizzo. She, of course, covered the Dodgers from 2013 to 2020. And I asked her about Julio Arias and if he should win the NL Cy Young Award and hear what she had to say. Absolutely. Where would they be without him? You know, where would the Dodgers be with that? I mean, Sandy Alcantara could throw a nine inning, you know, or a, a complete game shutout every single time. The Mar- or the Marlins are terrible. Doesn't matter. I know it's not. I know it's not MVP. I know that's not what we're talking about. But Julio Arias, think about a guy that has absolutely stepped up in the absence of of Walker Bueller, Clayton Kershaw, Dustin May, Tony Gaunt. You know, this is a guy that's been money. He was the first 10 game winner, was he not? You know, he's, yeah. he's a guy that has just been the ace of the staff and it completely 
evolved through the years. Uh, a 217 earned run average. I mean, he's not allowing runs to score, period. Yes. And I and Sandy Alcantara is, I mean, he the guy has nasty, nasty stuff. And he's incredibly dependable and reliable and he eats up innings. <laughs> but you know, it's I mean, I guess it depends on what you value. Do you value a guy that can eat up a ton of innings, or do you value a guy more that you know, doesn't allow runners to score. And I don't know what Alcantara's ZRA is. I haven't the slightest idea at the moment. They're both really good, but I, I mean, I think the edge has to go to Julio. And I'm not just saying that as a Dodger fan. I would say that if he played for the Reds. Yeah, no, absolutely. You look at him down the stretch. It's not how you start. It's how you finish a one, two, seven ERA in his last 14 starts. And I just don't want to see Julio penalized just because he plays for a World Series contender. Sandy Alcantara was on the Dodgers. He wouldn't have thrown 228 in two thirds innings because they know they need him deep into the postseason. So, yeah, I'm with you. Give the Cy Young to the Uriahs. And then yesterday, Dave Roberts weighed in on Julio Urias' Cy Young candidacy. He was asked by Alana Rizzo on MLB Network if he thinks that Julio should win the Cy Young, and here's what he had to say. You know, nothing against Sandy. I think Sandy's had a tremendous season, but Julio, and this is a regular season award, and he was the ace for the best team in baseball uh, throughout the regular season. I do believe that ERA certainly matters and all the stuff that he's done. And, you know, uh, for us as a team that's planning to play through October uh, to curtail innings here and there, which I personally have done, we've done in the best interest of him and the team, I don't think he should be penalized for that. And I think that obviously Sandy's body of work uh, speaks for itself, but you know, Julio's underlying numbers, all that stuff uh, speaks Cy Young for me. And then after his final start of the season, Julio Arias was asked about winning the Cy Young Award, and here's what he had to say. He told reporters, that's out of my control. The focus now is doing my job in the postseason and trying to get another championship for L.A., especially with all the criticism that goes with that 2020 shortened season. We want to finish off strong. So I love the focus. Julio Arias, he wants to win that World Series title, and that is where his legend is. He is a postseason legend in my opinion he's already certified but can you imagine if he goes on to lead the starting rotation to a world series title it's going to take his legacy in la to a whole nother level so yes sandy you can take the nl cy young award because you're probably going to win it but julio arias he's going to be playing deep in the postseason and hopefully he gets the trophy that really matters that world series trophy maybe even a world series mvp you never know but sandy's had a great year julio's had a great year and i just think the fact that he is going to be in the top three I mean if not it's going to be an absolute rob job but if he ends up in the top three that truly means the dream has been realized that Julio Arias is a legitimate top five to ten starter he is an ace in major league baseball and that's what he was supposed to be he was the Dodgers top pitching prospect there was so much hype surrounding Julio then he dealt with the injuries we were wondering maybe he ends up in the bullpen but no he ends up in the front of the Dodgers rotation and that is exactly what we hope so this truly really means the dream has been realized and that julio is a frontline starter and he's earned the nickname the urias but let me know down below in the comment section do you think that julio should win the cy young over sandy alcantara i want all your thoughts on this give me your takes do you think that he should win it let me know down below do you think he's a little disrespected around the league i want your thoughts about this by the writers i do think he's underrated but let me know down below my name is doug mccain you can follow me on twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, high videos, breakdowns, interviews, and more all season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.